Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing Stampin' Up! products. I share projects weekly on my website, YouTube, and Facebook. I sell the products used in the projects as well as a few additional products to help crafters stay organized. I have the free detailed directions for this project on my website. You'll see where to find that at the end of this video. So don't worry about taking notes. Just grab a cup or glass. It's time to sip together. I am using Beauty of Bounds and the Coordinating Butterfly Beauty Thinlets. My card base is Coastal Cabana. This is my typical 5.5 by 8.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. I have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock, 5 and a fourth by 4. I already cut out my vellum cardstock. You can actually cut out two at a time of these. You have lots of pieces with this die set. You have the two large pieces. This piece is a lot finer detail than this one, and you can stack those up together as we will on this project. Plus you have lots of little tiny butterflies and a couple of other larger butterflies and a couple of accessory pieces. I used the not so fine, the thicker piece to cut out my vellum and I've done that already. I saved the glossy white cardstock for the finer piece. I'm actually going to swap out the bottom cutting plate for the precision base plate. Um, it's got the directions here. You're going to want to use the black side up. So I'm going to put my glossy cardstock on the precision base plate and cover it with my die cutting side down. And with the precision base plate, I think you'll find it tends to curl more than other platforms. So I'm using an already kind of curled plate and rolling it through. Just to be sure, I'm going to roll it through four times, so up and back twice. And you'll see some of these pieces are already falling out. But I am going to use the die brush. I like to keep mine in a stamp case and I'm just going to roll my die brush over this. It probably won't get every single piece, but it'll get a lot. It will help a lot. Especially on all these little tiny dots here. And then I think you'll find you will still need to do some poking. We'll see how I did. These pieces are very fine, so don't just grab and pull. You do want to kind of ease them out of the die. Really, gosh, that really had hardly any poking to do on this. One of the things that I like about this case is I can just flip it over and it collects all my little pieces here. I want to put these two pieces together. I am going to put the vellum on the bottom and whenever you're adhering with vellum, oh, I just saw a little, one more little pokey. Whenever you're um, adhering with vellum, it will show so I want to put my adhesive on the back of this piece. I'm going to start with just the middle part. I'm using my fine tip glue pen. These match, the antennas match exactly, so if you match up the top antennas and then go to the middle and hold it for just a few seconds as it dries. As I still hold that middle, I'm going to lift up the vellum 
and put more fine tip glue pen on the glossy, the tips of the antennas, and anything that will be poking out, because I want to hold just mostly the ends together. And then set that down and line that up. And repeat it on the other side. That way there's not so much stretching going on. Um, it gives you more control over the pieces. And I always like to put the top on as quickly as I can so that it doesn't dry up in that tip. And we'll set the, that aside to finish drying. This stamp set has quite a few very lovely greetings. I'm really using just this piece and the bubbles. So I'm going to work on the front layer. I'm using Versamark and I've got my embossing buddy and I'm going to rub it on especially the bottom and the left side of the card and ink up my stamp. And this has a smaller and a larger end. I'm putting the smaller end pretty much in the corner. Inking again. The embossing buddy is a kind of a powder that keeps fingerprints and all kinds of things from sticking to the embossing powder. So next I'm bringing in the embossing powder and I've got just a scrap of paper, literally a scrap and I am dusting on the embossing powder. This is white embossing powder, so it will be white on white. You really probably won't see much of anything. And I can put that back in the tub. You hardly use any embossing powder at all, so it lasts a long time. And I'm going to use my heat tool to uh, melt the wax. As it melts, it will turn kind of from a powdery look to a shiny, smoother look. Give it a couple of seconds just to cool off. And then I'm going to use Coastal Cabana and Mint Macaron inks. Then I've got a wedge of our stamping sponges. I'm starting with the Mint Macaron and kind of stamping off on the scrap paper and rubbing. I just want a, a light color. And the embossing that we did, it doesn't stick to the embossing much. And so that shows up a lot. I just kind of want to fade it into the top of it. And then I'll do the same thing with the Coastal Cabana on the top part of the card. I kind of stamp off. It's not really stamping, but it, I don't want that um, mottled look. I want a nice smooth look to it, so that's why I'm kind of patting off on the scrap paper. It doesn't need to be smooth or even. And then I'm using the little bubbles on the top, and I am going to use the Coastal Cabana. I do want to make sure and turn so the bubbles aren't all going the same direction. And I'll use the larger one in the Mint Macaron on the bottom.
And where you stamp right over the embossing, I'm going to kind of dab that away and buff it a little bit. And that will remove any ink that's on top of the embossing. Now I didn't on the other one, but I think I'm going to put this butterfly on the inside of my card. And maybe even some bubbles. The only reason I'm using the small bubbles in the Coastal Cabana and the large bubbles in the Mint Macaron is because at my workshop we're going to have people moving back and forth and, and I didn't want to have to clean off my stamps in between. If you want to clean off your stamps and mix them up together, that's totally fine. So I have lots of room for a greeting on the inside here. I'm just going to put my inside, inside. And my stamped and sponged. This goes on the front. And then I'm just going to put my butterfly on top of that. Again, I'm using the fine tip glue pen. And I am putting this adhesive behind the glossy white. so that I don't have to worry about it showing through. And I do want to put it on the antennas. Again, you kind of have to let this adhesive sit for a little bit as it dries. And I'm pulling in some pearl jewels. And I love the Take Your Pick tool. To pull up the jewels, you just push on it and then slide it. And then put your jewels where you want them. And with this card, you can put as many or as few as you want. As I'm cleaning up my stamps, I just wanted to tell you a discovery. After all these years, I just discovered that the um, corners on my stamp and scrub, um, the one on the outside corner is the wet one. The one on the inside corner is the dry one, so I don't really need to look really closely at the symbols on there. Yay! After all these years, and that's it. Isn't this the most beautiful card with the shiny butterflies and the subtle vellum butterflies? So pretty. Here's the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. Just click the links and you'll be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up! Click home near the top of my page and you'll find lots of resources. Under shop I have tips for online shopping, frequent shopper rewards, and products I offer to help you stay organized. Share my Evernote notebook for a nominal contribution. It functions as a fully searchable catalog. I offer a cardstock sampler, taggers to help you identify those dies with lots of similar shapes, heavy duty bags to store 12x12 and 6x6 paper, and a bow maker. Inspiration takes you to all my projects. If you're new to stamping, you might want to look at the basics. You'll find how to cut card bases and layers, what's special about Stampin' Up! stamps, and some of my favorite tools. Under organization, you'll find catalog tabs, labels, and case inserts, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, a basic toolkit, color charts by alphabet, color family, and rainbow order, products by color, and RGB codes, and you can take a tour of my craft wall. More organization means more time for crafting. Come stamp with me here in Ventura County, California, or get the best deal of all and join my team of crafters. The team is called SIP Together and it stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper Together. 
The team is made of crafters who want to save money on the products they buy, share with a few friends, or to grow a business like mine. Be sure to subscribe to my website and on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.